Hi everyone. So few days back I posted a power query challenge on LinkedIn and received some mind blowing solutions by many power query experts. I have compiled all the solutions in this file. In this video I will discuss about the approach that I followed for solving this challenge. But you should also definitely check out all the given solutions in this file as a learning resource for advanced power query. Through each of the solution I am pretty sure you will learn some great power query tips and tricks. I will attach the link of this excel and that linkedin post in the description box below. You can also see that the link of that post is uh, given here so you can access that from here as well. So let's first try to understand the problem. So let's say here we have this particular input table here in which we have several ids and the corresponding days and we have to generate a desired output like this in which we have the id column and the days column same as we had in input table and we have to add this particular output column and what are the rules? So let's say we consider this particular id 1057 and for this id we have to find out the first occurrence of days 90 or greater than 90 right so the occurrence of first days equal to 90 or greater than 90 is here right so here we had 0 30 0 60 all are less than 90 right here we have this 90 and from the very next row that is from here we have to start a sequence uh, until the end of this particular id Correct. So here this particular ID ends and the next ID starts from here. So here we have this particular uh, index ended for this particular ID. Correct. For the very next ID we have to repeat the same task that is we have to find out the occurrence of uh, equal to 90 or greater than 90 days. This is uh, 120 here and from the very next row that is from here we have to st again start the sequence ending at the last occurrence of this particular ID. Correct. And similarly for each of the um, IDs in this uh, particular input table. Correct. So let's say here we have this again 1060. This is the first 90 here. From here we have to start a sequence and this is the last occurrence of 1060. So we here have uh, this uh, sequence ended. Again for 1061 we have no uh, occurrence of 90 days or greater than 90 days. So we have nothing here. Correct. No sequence here. So same task we have to do for all the IDs. So for the solution of this particular challenge that we just saw here, um, you can check out so all the solutions that uh, are listed here, right? So ex by Excel BI, by Melissa D. Corte, by Pavel Adams, by Brian Julius, by Venkat Rajesh, by Bill Sis, and also this particular solution by Rick Rostin in which he has used uh, formulas and the spill behavior of tables and he has given two brilliant solutions uh, using formulas so you definitely check out this as well and thanks to all of them for uh, posting these amazing solutions right I highly acknowledge their work and their brilliance so please do a favor please check out all these solutions and I'm pretty sure you're definitely going to learn some great power query tips and tricks through all of these solutions. So uh, let's come to my solution. So this is my solution and we will uh, try to build up this solution right from scratch, right? Starting from that input table. So uh, let's come here and let's click on query. Let's click on edit. And we are in the power query editor. So th this, these are all the queries and you can check out all the steps from uh, here, right? So all the steps are listed here and you can check them out. Correct. So uh, let's come to uh, this particular solution and uh, let's uh, come here and let's del delete all the other steps until end. So let's click on delete and we are left only with this source. And now we are going to do the solution from scratch. So as our first step, what we will do, we will uh, group this particular ID column. So uh, we will select this ID column, group by, and let's name this new column as all. And as our operation, we will select this all rows and let's click on OK. And now we will adju make adjustments in this uh, particular M code here uh, to add an index column for each of these tables, right? So what we will do is we will come here in this code and delete this much part right until here. And now what we will do, we will use table add index column, right? So table dot add index column. Let's open the bracket and as our table, we have to pass each of these tables in this particular all column, right? Comma and our new column name is let's say index, correct? And our initial value is let's say one. So we will, so uh, I forgot to close the bracket. So let's close it. 
and we have this as our output so for each of these tables we have successfully added index column correct so now what we will do is as we discussed earlier that for each of these ids we have to find out the first occurrence of 90 days and from the very next row we have to add an index so that particular task we will do for only one table we will make a function out of that particular uh, task that we are going to do and then we will apply that same function to all of the tables in this particular column so let's see how we are going to approach so let's click on this particular table against this id 1057 so let's click here and we have this uh, uh, as a result right now let's say we rename this uh, particular step so let's rename this as let's say temp right so now we have this particular step and now what we are going to do we are going to filter for this days column number filters greater than or equal to and we will pass 90 here right so let's click on ok so we have filtered this particular table and now from this particular table we have to make some changes in this particular code such that we extract this particular number every time so let's say here this number is 5 so we have to extract this index number so what we will do is we will go here in the code and uh, we will uh, open the square brackets and we will write index here because we have to extract the value out of this index column right so we have generated a list correct and from this list we want the very first record so we will open curly bracket and we will write zero here because we want to extract the very first record so uh, let's see what we get so we are getting five here right and now we are going to use this five particular five in order to um, pass our conditions and let's see how we can do this so let's rename this particular step to uh, let's say refer right so now also let's do one thing uh, let's make a duplicate for this particular query so we will uh, click on duplicate right and let's move it up and now we are going to do all the task further in uh, this particular query only so we will now add an step so let's click on this fx here and uh, in place of this refer we are going to write, write temp here correct so let's select this temp and we have this particular table here again so now we are going to add a condition here to start this that sequence from this particular row right just below that first occurrence of 90 for that we are going to write our condition and let's try to understand the condition first so let's say uh, we generated this 5 here correct now this one is less than 5 so we will uh, pass null here again this 2 is less than 5 3 is less than 5 4 is less than 5 this 5 is equal to 5 and we have to ignore this as well now from this particular uh, value 6 here we have to start our index right that uh, we have to start our output column uh, so so this 6 is greater than uh, this 5 here right and from here we have to start our sequence like 1 and then 2 for this particular row correct and and how we will arrive at that 1 and 2 so 6 minus 5 is 1 7 minus 5 is 2 so i think the situation is getting clear for you so so we will convert all those logics in our if condition and that will give a better understanding of all what i was saying here so we will click on add column and let's click on custom column correct and let's name this new column as output right and from here we will start writing our condition so if this index is less than equal to and we will now write a refer variable that we declared then we want null else we want index minus refer correct let's click on ok and we have successfully generated this particular sequence starting from the very next row uh, from the first occurrence of 90 or greater than 90 days right so until here uh, we have successfully done this for one particular id that is for 1057 now we have to do this for each of those ids now uh, also we have to account for uh, one condition let's say we don't have any of the days greater than or equal to 90 so what will happen in this case we will get nothing here correct so this will throw an error so so to counter that particular error we will use try and otherwise uh, statement so uh, let's go to our uh, custom column right and uh, 
let's wrap this all inside try this otherwise we want null so otherwise uh, spelling was wrong so otherwise we want null okay so uh, we have successfully done this thing so now we will uh, convert this whole thing as a function so what we will do is we will uh, go to this advanced editor and we, we will delete all the part until here until we went on to that particular one table and did that for did did this task for uh, one particular id so we will delete all this part let's click on delete and uh, now let's say we uh, make this as our function so let's declare a variable here uh, let's say i name it as uh, tbl right equal to and greater than sign so now we will reference this table here in place of this so we will use tbl and again in place of this temp we will use tbl right and we have converted this into a function so let's click on done right and this is our function let's do one thing let's copy uh, all this part right let's go here now we will come here and delete all the steps until end right so delete and we are left only with these two steps that is source and the grouping that we did and uh, in this grouping we added this index column right for each of these tables now we will add a step and in place of this grouped rows we will write our function here right which we copied from this my sol2 query correct so this is our function and let's rename this as uh, let's say my fn right so this is our function my fn and now what we will do we will again click on add step and we will refer to that group rows so let's select this group rows from here and we have to apply this my fn function on each of these uh, tables in this all column correct so let's go to add column and let's click on invoke custom function and let's say we name our new column as final and our function is let's say yeah, we are getting here only this option of my solution so let's select this and we want to apply this function on all right all column all all the tables in this in that all column so let's click on okay and now what we will do is we will go here and in instead of this my call to we will uh, write my fn so we are getting this here in intellisense so we will select this and let's uh, see if we are getting our results so yes we are getting our results as desired and from for this final uh, 1061 as we saw in the desired output we are getting uh, no sequence in this output column so the result is absolutely correct so let's select this particular column click on remove other columns so we are only left with this final column so let's expand our column so let's click here and uh, we don't want this and uh, we don't want index as well so we want id days and output in our uh, uh, final result so let's click on ok and we have got this as our result right so we have successfully done all the task step by step and we can delete this particular query as well so this was just for our reference so that uh, we can construct this particular function uh, step by step right so let's delete this we don't require this uh, anymore right so we are done with our solution so this was my approach of solving this particular challenge right and these are all the other solutions so do check out all the solutions it's my uh, request right and if in case if you have any other solution or any suggestion on making any of the video uh, so please do let me know in the comment section below and uh, you can check out all these solutions and check out the codes from uh, by going to advanced editor here right so by going to advanced editor or uh, down from here right for any of the particular stuff if you want to see that what was the code that was applied so you can check out from here correct so thanks a lot for watching this video and please do hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such interesting videos and challenges so thanks a lot and hope to see you in more such upcoming videos in future thank you